Okay, so here is the not yet mock. Which group is this? Group one. Okay. So for the first question, you are told to. Um, this is under rates of reactions. So question one, you are provided with the following solution K, which is nitric acid. Um, 0.5 molar solution L, which is 0.2 molar sodium tau sulfate, and the slow water and the stopwatch. Now, you are required to do two things. First, you have to react solution K and L as directed and measure the time taken for the sulfur to be precipitated for each experiment. Now, the second objective is to determine the order of the reaction with respect to solution K from the data obtained. Generally, the previous knowledge on such exercise is not always required because the procedure will always be given to you. Now, we have three things to do. Firstly, from a clean pipette, you need to place 5 cm cube of, so of solution K. So here is supposed to be solution, not sodium, of solution K into a 100 cm cube beaker. So this instruction is very simple. Placing 5 cm cube of a solution given to using a pipette into a beaker is clear. Then later, you now use a measuring cylinder to measure 20 cm cube of distilled water. And then you add it to the same beaker containing that 5 cm cube of the first solution. Then there's a, there's a black cross on the paper. There's a black cross. You place the beaker on that black cross. Now, the second instruction is that from a burette, you need to transfer 25 cm cube of solution L. Solution L is um, sodium tau sulfate. When you do that, you transfer it into a 250 cm cube beaker. Then you pour this solution into the beaker that is containing solution K, okay, that which was placed on the black cross. So then when you do that, you start the stopwatch, you stare briefly, and you observe from above. You observe from above um, and the time, the disappearance of the black cross. So um, this instruction is very direct. When you carry out, when you, in from instruction one, you already place a solution K, 5 cm cube. After adding 20 cm cube of water, you place it on a black cross. And the beaker involved was a 100 cm cube beaker. Then later, we now use a different beaker and also a different and a buret. We transfer 25 cm cube of solution L into that other beaker. Then we now take the solution and you pour into that first solution that is on the black cross. And once you start pouring, you start your stopwatch. They record the time for the disappearance of the black cross. Now, um, procedure number three, you need to just repeat what you have done in procedure number two four to five times using the specified quantities on the table. So let's come to the table. The table, you have five experiments. The volume of the solution K does not change in all the experiments. The volume is constant, five, 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 five. The volume of water is increasing by five centimeter cube. So in the first experiment, you use 20. In the second, 25. In the third, 30. In the fourth, 35. And the fifth, 40. Now, for the volume of, of, of solution L, which is the volume of the tau sulfate, the volume is decreasing. So when you start with 25 cm cube, if you read procedure 2, you realize that you started with 25 cm cube. In the next experiment, you need to use 20 till you arrive at 5. Now, the time, in the, the, you are going to measure the time in seconds, the time for the disappearance of the black cross in every experiment, you record the time. Then the rate is 1 over the time. You take 1 over each of the time values that you have had, and it is in per seconds. Now, how do you calculate the concentration of L? Um, solution L is sodium, sodium tau sulfate, and you have, um, you, have a, you have the equation, which is sodium nitric acid plus sodium tau sulfate. Normally, you're going to have salt and water because you're reacting an acid and a base. And since nitric acid is a monobasic acid, then this equation is automatic. Thus, the number of moles of the acid will be equal to 1, and the number of moles of the base will be equal to 1. Okay. 
you can also check your influence book and you're going to see this very reaction you can just copy and paste now how do i calculate the concentration the concentration of nitric acid no the concentration of solution l solution l is sodium tau sulfate you need to use since it is an acid based reaction mava over mbvb is equal to na on nb but na and nb are all ones because it's the number of moles of the acid and the number of moles of the base in a balanced chemical reaction so you're just going to have mava equal to mbvb now ma is the molarity of the acid which is the molarity of solution k and the molarity is 0.5 it was given originally in the equation now va is the volume of the acid and the volume of the acid is in the first experiment because you're going to calculate the concentration in every experiment the volume of the acid in the first experiment the volume of the acid is five in fact the volume was constant okay now the volume of the base the volume of the base is a volume of l which is uh, which is 25 cm cube and then the molarity of the base is what you are finding you do that and you use every experiment the values of the volume in every experiment to find the concentration of sodium tau sulfate now next you need to now complete table one that's the first question second question you need to plot the graph of concentration of the reaction in a vertical axis against a concentration of tau sulfate okay so uh, then from the reaction you need to from the from from the graph you need to deduce the order of the reaction with respect to the sodium tau sulfate and then explain how you arrive to your answer then assuming that the order with respect to the the acid is one write the rate expression for the reaction then write a balanced equation for the reaction between nitric acid and tau sulfate and then why must the reaction pick up the before the next experiment okay so um let us talk about rates okay if i'm plotting a graph of reaction of reaction rates against concentration so generally what do we know about reaction rate we know that the rates we know that um, the rate of a chemical reaction if maybe for example if i have if i'm reacting two things a plus b right to give me to give me c now the rate of this chemical reaction arrow the rate of this chemical reaction is equal to the rate constant k times the concentration of the first reactant it could be a or it could be the concentration of a then we need to raise it to its partial order Maybe I can call it M and then you also multiply with the concentration of B and then you also raise it to its own partial order. I can call the partial order M, maybe N. Okay, so you realize that in this case, we are reacting according to the equation sodium tau sulfate and nitric acid. And you realize that the concentration of nitric acid does not change in any reaction in any experiment which means the concentration of nitric acid is constant right and if the concentration of nitric acid is constant therefore means that um, if i want to write my if i want to write my chemical my my rates i'm just going to omit the concentration of nitric acid now if i plot the graph of the rates against the concentration of sodium tau sulfate how do i deduce the